what's going on YouTube? Sorry, it's been a long time since I uploaded. Uh, lots of things have happened in my personal life that um, you know I'll get into in this video, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, I haven't I put car stuff um, on the back burner for the past several months uh, because of all this personal life stuff that's that's uh, been going on in the past uh, couple months. I even had to pass on a few on a track day or two back home in Houston. And when I say back home in Houston, I'll get to that in a second. Sorry, but you know, here is pretty much an update video on what's going on uh, right now with me. And then it'll probably go into possible future things for the channel and whatnot. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. Um, but I have moved, me and my wife have moved from Houston. We moved out of Houston. And we didn't move to another city in Texas. We actually moved out of Texas too. We're now residing in North Carolina, specifically the Asheville area. Me and my wife have been wanting to move out of Houston for whew, several years now, maybe close to five years now, ever since maybe 2017-ish. We've been wanting to move out of Houston uh, and ideally out of Texas. Um, we love Houston, we love Texas, you know, it's home. Most of our family, if not all our family are there, or at least immediate family, and a lot of our close friends live there. We were just ready to move on from Houston. I don't know, it's something about Houston, which just, it just wasn't, you know, motivating us. It wasn't, we had a serious lack of drive there, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it just, we were just weren't inspired to go and do things, whether it be little things, big things, you know, whatever. We just, it just wasn't it. And we did think of moving to like maybe Austin, somewhere that's, you know, not Houston, but still in Texas. But we both agreed that if we're gonna move and start a new life somewhere, fresh slate, all this stuff, new new scenery, new people, new, you know, culture, new area, all that, we wanted to do it big. So we decided to move out of Texas. And for the past several years, we actually wanted to move to Washington State. And we stuck with that for years. But every year we had, you know, setback after setback, whether it was finances, or timing just wasn't right, or COVID. And then during the lockdown, we decided, you know, we probably shouldn't put all our eggs in one basket. We should probably think of a place other than Washington to move to, just in case, you know, that's that doesn't work out. Or just, you know, if the universe is telling us that's not the place we should be, we should be at, all that stuff. So we did a bunch of other research to other st uh, states, Oregon, Colorado, Utah. But eventually we narrowed it down to perhaps the East Coast because that's one place we are. I, I lived on the West Coast before and, and visited areas on the West Coast before. Um, she has too. The East Coast was very, very foreign to us. We, Me and her have never really been there. I've never been there. She's been there once, talked about it, and we decided, you know, like, I think we should, like, look into the East Coast. It's, it's different for both of us, and there's a lot of nice areas there. Um, and we looked up in New England. Uh, we even looked down in like Georgia. I was okay with the idea of moving to Florida, but she hated me. She hates Florida. So I was just like, okay, that's fine, whatever. And then we started looking into the Carolinas. Uh, eventually narrowed it down to North Carolina. Researching on Riley, which is the capital, and then Charlotte, which is the biggest city in North Carolina. But the thing is we, or at least me, and she eventually agreed with me that I wanted, I wanted us to live somewhere that wasn't a big city. One of the reasons why I wanted to move out of Houston was because I was tired of big city life. Like traffic, pollution, to, to go anywhere interesting you gotta drive so fucking far. Not just far but like time consuming uh, commute too. Like it, it takes like 30 minutes to drive six six miles in Houston traffic and all that stuff. You know it's, it's just big cities, I'm just, I was just tired of big cities so we decided to look for small slash medium cities and that's when we discovered Asheville. Well, we've never even heard of this place until we started doing research. And it ticked all the boxes in terms of like what we wanted. It's near nature, it's in the mass mountain town, not a big city, uh, very vibrant, you know, very all that. Eventually did more research and then we went to take a vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already knew this, but we took a vacation there last October. Like in like a day we fell in love with this place, so we decided to like move out here. From October till March, looking up, you know, apartments, uh, all, getting together all the logistics of the move, all that stuff. Um, and eventually in March 15th, 
we came here and checked into our new apartment and, and this is actually the garage that I uh, added onto the lease, you know, because I wanted it for the car. Um, but yeah, we're here in Nashville, living life. It's We've been here for a couple weeks. We're enjoying it. You know, we're, we're discovering new things about the city we didn't know about or see on the vacation or even heard before the vacation. Stuff like that, you know, uh, delving into like the local life and whatnot. Life here so far has just been better. A little, we're a lot more stress-free. <laughs> I mean, I could go on and on about this move and all that stuff, but it's only part of this video. I wanted to show y'all this. All right, so here's the RSX at its new home. It's a little one-car garage that I added on. It's this little cabinet here that I'm just gonna put like parts or big tools or whatever. Uh, I got our bikes here. Um, uh, charger. Uh, it's pretty empty in here obviously right now because we just moved in and all that um, uh, Earlier I actually installed one of those here. Let me show you But I ordered one of these off Amazon because the bulb that was Here was burnt out Luckily the socket works and all that so and this is way better than a normal incandescent bulb anyway, so let me turn that on Yeah, way better Right here, you can see all these like interior parts I haven't sold yet. I'm gonna put them up for sale soon. Matter of fact, if you live near Asheville or in Asheville or in somewhere outside or whatever, you have an RSX, you want some interior parts, hit me up on Instagram. You know, we'll talk about, you know, taking these off my hands, please. I got some interior pieces here, like the rear seats, uh, door panels, uh, stuff like that. Even got OEM side skirts that has the white wrap. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, this is a progress uh, front uh, front sway bar, 27 millimeter. Um, if anyone, I never used that because I just removed the front sway bar on this car for track purposes. So if anyone wants that, they can buy that too. Uh, as far as plans for this garage, so that's gonna stay there. I want to build a workbench here. I, I, I need to take measurements, but I want it, you know, not too far, not too far from the wall because. This right here where the car is, is like barely, barely in the garage. I even, <laughs> I even put this, uh, this old school tennis ball trick to, as a marker of when to, you know, stop the car when pulling in. But yeah, anyways, I want to put a, build a workbench, you know, it's just a simple workbench. Maybe an L? Probably like stomach high or something. Not sure, waist or stomach high, and then get like a, a, a toolbox on wheels to go under it, probably over there or something. And then put some like shop lights on this wall, so that way there's light when working here and whatnot. My mountain bike and her bike, I got these uh, hooks that I, you know, for mounting them on the walls and stuff, but I think I'm gonna mount them on the ceiling. I was gonna do that today, but I, I need her help and she's, not available right now. I'm thinking like right here between this wall and there. I picked up my mountain bike earlier and it doesn't look like it'll interfere with the uh, garage door uh, stuff. So maybe I might put mine here and then hers there. I'm not sure yet. And I'm also gonna, I have some pool noodle pieces I'm probably gonna put on the wall here just in case you know opening the door and whatnot and you know i want to decorate it uh put, probably put like a honda flag here toyota flag here um and what else even right here i got so <laughs> this right here hold on north carolina doesn't require front plates so i took off the front plate of my forerunner so it's sitting right here um i'm gonna hang that's on the wall somewhere i'm not sure where i found this for like a couple bucks at a, a goodwill here it's just a wall decor that i was like oh you know it's car related so why not it's, it's chevy but i mean i mean i like chevys too i mean i'm a car guy I'm a, i have my preferences but i like them all more or less i don't know where to hang that but i'm gonna hang that up somewhere too this is it this is just a single car garage that tacked onto the rent i, I guess i could have just sold this you know just to get it out of my hair before we moved but man this i did so much seat time and put so much money in this car that and it's it's sentimentally special to me, so I just kept it. You know, I towed it here. 
uh, my Kawasaki Vulcan S, the bike that started my YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Some of y'all actually that, that are watching probably remember that. I still have that. It's back in Houston though. But I mean, I guess if you're in Houston and you want a, a nice starter bike or a comfortable lightweight cruiser, you know, just hit me up on Instagram. You know, we'll, we'll work out the details. It's at my parents' house. I'll let them know ahead of time if you want to like look at it and buy it or whatever, you know. Matter of fact, speaking of motorcycles, I actually got a job at a motorcycle dealership. I'll get into the details in a future video, but I'm just saying that I just started a job. That being said, I might go back to my roots a little bit with this channel and start incorporating bikes again. Who knows? I don't know how yet. The channel might reach its final form in being an RSX slash car channel that also is also a bike channel. Some of y'all have been here since the beginning no knows that I started this channel off of motorcycle. Uh, motorcycles. I had two at one point before I got the RSX. Um, so, you know, who knows? I might, might just do that. Who knows? All right, let's open this up. There's the Forerunner. Funny enough, this garage is actually in the opposite area of where the uh, my apartment is. So it's a lot easier to just grab stuff, put stuff in the corner and drive up here. But you know, I wish it was closer, but hey, what are you gonna do? That's a mountain. I love the fact that we're living near mountains. When we got here, most of the trees were, you know, dormant, but spring was like several days ago. So they're starting to bloom some. That's beautiful right there. That's a dogwood tree. And over here, unfortunately, we can't see this from our apartment, but this is a great spot to watch the sunset. Can't wait till all these trees fill out. It's gonna look beautiful out here. All right, goodbye. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, guys. So I originally planned on doing a uh, like a apartment walkthrough just to show y'all the apartment, but eh, I decided not nah, because honestly, our, our apartment isn't really where me and my wife want it to be right now. It didn't really seem necessary, anyways. I'm actually putting this video out a little later, uh, a lot later than I wanted to. This is, should have been out like maybe a week or two ago, but. Just been busy, you know, new job. That's the channel update. I uh, will try and, you know, get some more content of stuff, of whatever stuff I can think of in the coming future. I'm pretty excited I'm making new videos uh, here in a new place. So, yeah, but other than that, you know, thanks for watching. If you liked it, you know, hit the like button. Go ahead and comment if you want to comment. Uh, Follow me on Instagram and hit the subscribe button, the bell, all that good stuff that YouTube wants y'all to do. So, yeah, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.